Hi, I'm Yasuisa Suzuki. I reintroduce our paper, TV Advertisement Scheduling by Learning Expert Intentions. Advertising is a primary source of revenue for most TV networks. In Japan, TV ads dominate, but online ads have increased dramatically and threatened the growth of TV ad spending. Due to this, TV networks want to improve job efficiency, and TV ad scheduling automation is a top priority. Companies or advertisers wanting to promote their products first discuss with ad agencies to come up with an ad concept from which a TV ad will be created. Once an ad is fixed, the agency will ask TV clerks to place it in desirable spots which the clerks try to accommodate. As there is a very limited number of slots, the agency and the clerks negotiate to arrive at a mutually acceptable schedule. The ad request may include requirements from the agencies to maximize promotion effectiveness. For example, vibrant programs are suitable for food ads or ads of competitors should not be shown consecutively. So, TV clerks need to create the schedules carefully while considering search constraints. Their TV clerks also have to consider conflicts with other ads being handled by other clerks. The most suitable ad for each slot must be assigned to maximize the TV network's revenue. Due to the many constraints and negotiations, TV ad scheduling is a cumbersome and time-consuming job. One approach to automate TV ad scheduling is to develop an appropriate mathematical optimization problem. However, the objective function contains a lot of parameters, which relate to slot preferences or conflicts, among others. To tune such parameters automatically, we apply a data-driven approach. Specifically, we use inverse optimization. From expert historical data, we can extract features such as preferences for morning or afternoon slots. By applying inverse optimization on expert demonstrations, the expert's objectives and preferences are then automatically obtained. After learning the expert's objective function from data, we can use it in an optimization problem to perform automatic scheduling. Solving the optimization problem results in schedules that should be similar to the ones by the expert. Using ads in a validation dataset, we compared the similarities of schedules created by our method and by simple overall approaches. As one can see, our method successfully created schedules that are the most similar to the experts. This means that our proposed approach can automate and imitate expert TV ad scheduling using actual data, which can allow us to improve operational efficiency in TV networks. This ends our video. If you got interested in our paper, please check it. Thanks for watching.